Right. So if someone already doesn't see the world through a conspiratorial lens, and they and if they don't already like the person you're accusing of conspiring, you're not going to be able to convince them of your pet theory. It's mm -hmm. just not going to happen. Right. So when I've tried to you know, do experiments where some people are exposed to a conspiracy theory and other people aren't, it's only a tiny, tiny number of people I can get to adopt the conspiracy theory. Oh, wow. I mean, most people are like, you know, we're not, we're not affected by it. So, right. and, 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 and that's, that's the important thing. So when we go back and we study, like, what's the effect of social media use on the number of conspiracy theories people believe? Well, it's absolutely true that people who use more social media believe more conspiracy theories. But is that correlation actually causal? And what we find is that 